Hey guys, Ramblin' Man here. This is my first time wearing these new gloves from Lee Park. These are the shorter gloves. Ramblin' Man here, out on a ride on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, 4.50 p.m. when this is being recorded. Again, I hope to get out earlier today, but just had stuff we were doing. wearing these new gloves from Lee Park Design. So the other ones I have are, I think they're called the Sumo. We get the two confused. That has the long cuff. This is the Sumo R. Hopefully I didn't switch those around. This is the shorter cuff. And I'm liking the way they feel. This is just my first ride with them. So I'd asked, I had asked in a previous video when I was talking about the work on our wind deflectors that uh, the guy that I take my bike to for various projects, he's an independent guy working um, basically out of a shop he has set up in his uh, shed slash house. But uh, basically I had the left side in, couldn't get the right one in. He found that I had cross-threaded him and had to use a clamp to line up the nasal and all the parts. And I asked you guys to uh, guess what you thought that, that might cost. Then I'll tell you that he uh, also told me it took just a little over 30 minutes for him to do the job. I don't think I've told that before. So that, what do you guys think, before I reveal the answer, as you're thinking, and you put it in the comments, if you want to be uh, intellectually honest, and tell people what you're thinking right now, but now that you know the time frame it took him. Uh, but three, two, one. Uh, he charged me 50 bucks for that, which uh, I think was fair. Took his time and knowledge to do that and I'm learning in the process my wife who is extremely frugal has hit a point on these motorcycle projects where she's like just pay them to do it just tell them to do it because uh, I get out there and uh, she's my helper sometimes very willingly and other times I can tell I'm uh, really pushing it <laughs> because uh you know she homeschools our three kids that's a full-time plus job on its own not to mention all the other stuff and uh and then i come sometimes catching her off guard saying hey i promise it won't take long and then we're out there for an hour <laughs> working on some project that shouldn't take me an hour but it does and what's really frustrating is to spend an hour or two and you just can't finish it and you end up having to pay somebody to do it anyway but you know there's been success stories there's been plenty I've done on my own with no help but uh, well my help is usually YouTube and the Indian forums so I'm wearing this darker tinted visor but that only gives me about two hours two and a half hours maybe where it starts to become really dark with it especially based on where the, the sun might set you know in the direction I'm riding back you know uh, but further away it's going to be darker sooner and um, I think I have the clear one or the photochromatic one inside my saddlebag but I've never done a change on the road like that I've usually been at my desk probably with a bit of a challenge because I don't do it that much I've gotten better and better at it I've tried to practice taking it on and off sometimes if I'm just out riding in my area I'll work my way back home and just switch the helmets to the other one that's got the clear the modular 
the photochromatic is just perfect for that and I'm really inclined to just keep one on the helmet but at the time of day when the sun is directly in your eyes I probably should have passed it uh, the time of day when your sun is directly in your eyes it's just not dark enough maybe I should add a piece of electrical tape to that one I don't have that on this one maybe that would solve that with a photochromatic one restrain myself not to honk his air horn with those guys playing golf. <laughs> uh, there's another opportunity coming up right here. Yeah, tractor trailer. I mean, it just happens all the time out here on these roads. They're, they're all over the place. Every vehicle. This one really slows me down. Whoa. My back tire went through some dirt or something. This road really, like, I'm, I'm just not good enough for some of these. I feel like I really need to improve. I don't think it's the bike. It's, uh, just, I haven't been on curves like that too often. In this road I've only been on it like three times now I think the first time it really caught me off guard probably looks easy if you don't ride a bike and if you do you're thinking I'm no good and should be off the bike people get so caustic with some of their comments I think, I'm, I, think I might actually stop at this church and uh, go back through that and I might check on the camera as well all right I'm gonna go back through this little curvy section and just just focus on what I'm doing here and see how this goes Right here, I did really poorly, yeah. I'm uh, not happy with that.
I'll probably share that though I was unhappy with my own performance on that and okay with some of them felt I could have been a lot better you guys can critique what I did there I try to keep a thick skin it's like you always want to make sure you even know what you're supposed to be doing you know people say to practice more it's like well some of these things I've got to make sure I know what to practice because there's a lot of moving parts that goes into doing that properly and I admit there's times I'm like well, should I downshift should I use engine braking should I be using the front brake should I use the rear brake at all and then I just get a little nervous like what happened with that last hairpin turn pretty farm out there like a painting pond and red barn 